Hey guys, starting this video uh, mainly because of a couple of comments I've seen on these here forums. Uh, there are two posts in particular and a third that I'll reference. Uh, one of them is a idea to filter things based off of items that you already have equipped, which is an idea, don't get me wrong, though there is a way to do it and I explained it in this post. I'll also be showing it. Um, and this post with complex filter stuff, I've already been replying to it. Uh, if you could basically recursively uh, use filters. So uh, what this guy's asking for is to be able to say, hey, I've got this other filter, let's say in game percent here. And I maybe it's got like only one thing in it. It doesn't, but let's just say that it only has one thing active, right? So can in this filter, I just reference it. Neat idea, uh, I don't think it's necessary. You have so many uh, rule slots that you can use. Stay hydrated. Um, and it doesn't take that much to create a very general purpose or a very specific filter. Heavy, in the third post that I'll sort of reference, Heavy has created a few filters for general purpose that look roughly the same. Um, at the top, they definitely are the same aside from these three rules here. Um, aside from Rogue. Rogue looks slightly different at the top. Either way, uh, they're very general purpose filters and I'll link that post in the video. I'll link all these posts in the video. Um, Heavies is probably the best if you want just a general purpose filter. You don't want to do much work in it, but if you really want to create a filter, right? We're going to start from no filter, okay? I'm going to show you how I do it, uh, how I did it for end game percent, which is a run where I took a solo character from level one all the way to end game in like six hours, which requires good filtering, right? Uh, you don't want to have to stop and look at items. Uh, and then also the filters that I use regularly for my end game stuff, like let's look at, which one is the best for this? I didn't think this far ahead. Look at, huh, no, that's not a good one. Fire Bully Boy, no, that's not the one that's current. Probably Sentinel. Yeah, Sentinel's current, okay. So this guy is very much in end game, uh, and you can see my end game filter only has 18 rules. And I've also added stuff at the top. Like this is, or anything in this teal color is for things that I want for this character. And then, uh, I guess it should be like this. No, nah, no, it should be like this. Uh, this is where my filters normally cap out if they're solo, is this rule here. Uh, occasionally you'll see things like this where I'm recoloring specific items that I need uh, that have one affix that I need right but we'll get into that later and then also recoloring basically natural t19 drops and we'll get into how to do that also so back to the demonstration purposes so end game percent this is me looking for very specific items that have specific stats that I need for damage and or resistance. Um, also filtering things uh, based on how they drop relative to my character level. So I've prepared some dummy items here. Um, right now with no filter, anything I drop is gonna show up, right? Everything shows up on the ground just as you think it would. So there's no actual item filtering here. So if we add a rule, first rule in any filter that's planning to do anything should hide all items. You don't want to see anything. In this regard, now you have to specify what you want to show up, right? So I'll leave things on the ground, hidden, just to kind of show you, da, 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 just kind of show the process in which everything gets revealed, right? So let's move it here so you can see stuff. Add rule. 
Now in add rule, it just shows up because you haven't specified the rule. Now, if you just do recolor, right? Let's say recolor all items white. Now all items are white. Notice I didn't say show all items and then recolor them. Though you could do that. And see the order matters here. Show all items says show them in their default color scheme. Recolor just says change their color. Right, so some people think that they have to show the item and then recolor. That's not true. You can just recolor the item. So that's useful. Uh, for me, let's say I want something usable. Let's say I'm not early end game, right? I'm just looking for item types. I just want base items. I want them to have maybe one usable stat, right? So let's look for armor pieces. Uh, we're gonna say body armor. And the reason I don't choose all armor here is because then the subtypes thing goes away. Because maybe there's certain body armors that I want and certain body armors that I don't want. Like, I don't want to get sentinel body armors to drop. I only want mage body armors. Maybe I want all of them. Maybe I don't. Maybe I realize that I'm early-ish endgame, right? My character here is level 71, I believe. Uh, so I don't want to wear a traveling coat. I don't want to wear adept robes, right? I want to wear something up here. Preferably celestial robes, but I can't equip that yet. Uh, I'll still show it because I'm running uh, monoliths that are higher level, so I'll still show this, but I can't equip it yet, right? I don't want freeze rate because I'm not a freeze build. I'm a fire build. Uh, mana's okay. Ward, ward retention is okay because I'm a spell blade. Mana spent gained as ward. I'm not spending much mana. Uh, and then adaptive spell damage is okay, right? So realistically, I only want these two if I want to be specific. If I want to be general, I can just show all the stuff up here, right? So let's be general. And then I want to show affixes that I want with at least one thing, right? So maybe I want dexterity and int, maybe I want anything with health, maybe I want any resist, but maybe I'm not scaling armor, right? So I go in here, get rid of the armor, I'm not channeling, I don't want endurance, okay? I want dodge, and you can look in here at what I'm actually getting, right? Maybe you want health on melee hit, because I'm attacking a lot. Uh, crit avoid is good. Leech is good. Right? So these are things that can roll on your body armor that are good. Also, you could get more specific in the mage specific stuff, but I'm not going to do that here yet. So I could go to advanced options, but I just want to see it if it has one of those things. Hey, look! This guy has res, and he actually has two of them. So even if I change this here, it still shows up. But if I change it to three, he's gone, right? Now, if I keep it at three and I add the mana roll that was on it, oops, not that one. Mana. Now it shows up again. So this is how you can use this drop down very well. Uh, also, I highly recommend always filtering a specific armor type or a specific item type with an like a specific role of affixes. You can see that I do that in my Sentinel. Uh, where is it at? In my Sentinel guy, right? All these item types say drop this item with two of X affixes, or maybe three of X affixes. And there's some in their tiers, some to whatever, right? So basically it means that I've said I want to drop, of all the gloves, I only want these gloves, and I want them to have two of these affixes, and of these affixes, they need to add up to a tier of this or higher, right? So back to here. So I was able to pick this up now, because I saw it, right? What's next on the list? Uh, let's go to gloves. Okay, so gloves. Let's recolor item type gloves. Normally I do this from the top down in the item type list, but we'll go based on the items that I had seen. Okay, so what gloves do I want? I want pretty much these two. Res and crypt chance are good. Um, 
I don't really care about any other any of the other gloves. Uh, like necrotic res is good, but that's also not very much armor, and it's also not very much res. You can get this res roll on a T3, right? Whereas this is more like a T5. So that's the that's what I want. This will be saving me more affixes overall, right? So let's say that I want the same Dexent. Maybe all lats is fine. Maybe Vit's fine, right? I just don't want Strength and Attunement. Maybe I want uh, Melee Attack Speed. You can get that. Maybe I want Melee Crit. I don't. Um, maybe I want Spell Crit on these gloves. Maybe I want uh, Resin Armor, right? In this case, we'll just leave the armor stuff there because the gloves that I dropped on the ground had armor. Maybe they want health, maybe they want dodge, right? These normal things that you'd want on basically everything armor-related. Maybe I want mana. Okay, so just want one. But the gloves didn't show up, but the gloves have armor, right? But they're leather gloves. Which means I have already filtered them out based on their base. If I add leather gloves, they'll show up. But I don't want leather gloves. I don't care about leather gloves. So they're just gonna stay on the ground there, right? Um, idols, idols are tough to kind of filter. Let's also get into weapons and off bases. So hiding everything, right? Hiding everything means that I don't see a thing, obviously. So what weapons do I want? Item type. Do I want a two-handed weapon? No. I want, in this case, a one-handed sword. Because Spellblade. Uh, what do I want the sword to be? Crystal sword, because I'm elemental. I really only want this one sword. Nothing else appeals to me for this character. I'm not going crit. I'm actually going damage over time. Um, the only reason you don't see so many fire ores is because they're blinding, and doing that for a video is terrible. Um, Trust me, it's a bad idea. Uh, I could show you, but I'm not going to. I expect out of Fire Aura for this. Um, so, let's look at this Crystal Sword. What affixes do I want on it? Well, I want Melee Attack Speed, so I can stack up Firebrand. Maybe I want Adaptive Spell Damage. Maybe I want Spell Damage, right? I'm gonna want Fire Damage and Fire Pen. Pretty much it as far as things that I want. Maybe I want to get a little bit more specific, in which case we can go for Blind on Hit is good, Chill on Hit's good, uh, da -da 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 -da. Slow on Hit's okay, Armor Shred is good, and Frailty on Hit is amazing. So, any of those things, now if I drop my sword, it shows up. Great. But what about my offhand? My offhand doesn't show up still, even though I want it, obviously. It's my current offhand. So we'd have to add that. Right. Notice, this bow still hasn't shown up. Not because it's a rogue bow and I'm playing a mage, it's because I hid everything. I don't have to go in and tell it to hide class requirements based off of these things, because they're already hidden. They're already hidden here. Right, so this is a redundant rule. Especially if it's here, it's very redundant of a rule. Now what you can do is say, early on, have a character level dependency here. Mm -hmm. Call this one to, oh, my num long's not on, level one to level 50. And call this character level dependency 50 to 100. Now this will only be active up to level 50, this will only be active after level 50, right? Realistically, it should be 51. So now, I'm not hiding all the items, I'm just hiding class-specific items. These just happen to be class-specific, I guess. Oh no, because I'm in that level threshold. So if I wasn't in that level threshold, it would look like this. And it would show all these things, right? So until level 50, 
this is everything that's showing up. Which is not what I want. Let's remove the level threshold here. So I guess it's hiding two things. Right? But I wanted to hide everything. So let's hide everything. Um, let's show, or let's recolor idols. Because idols are tricky, right? Idols, sometimes you only want certain idols, right? Like in the current update, maybe you don't want adorned and ornate. Maybe you just want to stack many idols, right? Uh, adorned being, I don't have any. Adorned being the ones that are really tall and ornate being the ones that are really long, like four by one and four by one or one by four, right? A lot of people don't want to stack these in the current way that the idle system is. Uh, you want the three by ones, right? That's what a lot of people want in the current update. We also want one by twos of either variety and then one by ones to fill in random slots, right? In the old system, you didn't want one by ones at all. Now you kind of do. But let's show all idols just for the sake of it. Um, Affix. I've got to sneeze. Ooh, sorry about that. Um, so let's look for the idols. If you just did this, right? This, this here is the same as this. So in this case, let's be a little bit more specific, shall we? Let's go everything with health, right? Everything with resistance. That's a good default place to start. All builds want health, all builds want resistance, right? Uh, maybe you don't need crit chance. Maybe you don't need healing effectiveness. Okay, neat. I need damage over time for mine. Um, Word retention is good for me, right? Uh, fire damage is good, even if it's shared. It's still something. This would, this is something that would only roll on a one by one. So this is kind of bonus. Um, usually, if you put on a one by one, it's gonna have maybe just the resist. Right? For example, what button is it? This guy. Do I use the health regen? No. Do we use the void res? Yes. Health regen? No. Damage over time? Yes. Fizz res? Yes. Chance to bleed? No. Like, you can see the, the prefix on these idols is kind of whatever. I'm mainly just using these for filling in res. So this one has really good fizz res on it. So I would definitely pick this up. All right, if you look at the roll, highest is 17. So 15%, great roll. It's already better than two of these boys, right? As far as getting physical resistance. So that's a good idol to pick up. What are other good idols to pick up for me? Well, that's for you to decide, right? Um, generally speaking, you're going to go into mage idols. You're going to click everything that you like, right? Maybe you don't want shock effect. Maybe you want ignite chance. An increased ignite effect and you can just search ignite right. cool there you go and there's all your ignite, ignite stuff there's more ignite right maybe you missed it so use the search function for sure uh, da, da, da. okay next thing so sometimes idols are very specific to your character maybe they're build enabling right so let's recolor build enabling things. For me, that's red. If I see something red, I pick it up without question. If I see something teal, I might pick it up. I probably will. Most of the time, if I see something teal, I take a second, I look at it. I determine if it's better than what I have or not. If it isn't, and I see that I'm picking stuff up that isn't better than what I have quite a lot, or if I'm seeing something that isn't better than I have quite a lot, I'll usually make that part of the filter stricter, more strict, and we'll get into that later. But for right now, item type. Item type doesn't matter because idle rolls only affect idle rolls, or only affect idles. 
So this will be anything build enabling, right? I don't care what the atom type is. These are things that are idols that are very important to pick, uh, to pick up, or they are gear pieces that I want to smash in order to have those affixes for it later, right? So maybe, maybe I'm playing this build on a spell blade, but I'm about to start gearing up for a maybe a, a wandering spirits and um, what's the spirit plague? Wandering spirits and spirit plague uh, lich, right? So maybe I really want these things. Maybe I really want poison damage or poison resistance. Maybe I really want chance to poison on hit. So, right, like these specific things I'll be looking for. Anything that rolls any of those will show up. And then maybe I'm playing this mage and I don't have these three yet. Increased fire damage, cold damage, and lightning damage with over 300 mana. Right. These are build enabling idols. Volcanic orb damage and reduction speed. This is a build enabling idol, right? Another example of a build enabling idol are for Sentinel, right? And item. Idol and item. If I just search for smite, right? Chance to cast smite on hit or when you hit with a throwing attack. This is very important. Also, mana gained on smite use because this applies to this, right? So you want both of those at all times. So I'm gonna include them in my build enabling thing. I can rename them, right? So. Cool, so now it's showing anything that's build enabling. I actually prefer not to see the rename stuff uh, just because I am very, picky about that it's like, so yeah this idol will now show up as red and I know it's red I pick it up I don't think about it right I'll sort it later uh, da, da, da. next thing is how to make things more strict right so let's say I picked up this body armor because it showed up but my body armor is better maybe yeah that body armor this body armor is terrible I just kind of have it. Um, but let's say that I want to pick up something better than this, right? So what I'll do, maybe, maybe I'll go into advanced options here and say that it needs a total affix of more or equal to seven. And it hit the item. What tier is it? Let's find out. So it's tier five. So the way it's getting tier five is it's not because it's a tier five item. It's because all item or all affixes listed on this item are wanted. And so it's adding them all up. If I keep it at T5, but I take that mana roll off, it no longer shows up because the items that I have listed do not add up to five or more. They add up to four or more. So when I change it to four, it shows up again. So this is important where I'll take an item like this, right? It's got three stats that I like, but one of the stats is really low, right? And it's a fractured item. So what I'll look for is an item with two stats that I want or more, right? So I'll leave it like this where I want two, at least two of those affixes, but maybe the number that I want is eight, right? Because eight matches what I have here. I don't care about the minion health. I want the mana, cold res, and void res. Or I want mana res res, realistically, right? So in this case, obviously this is body armor, but we'll go with it. It would say eight, right? Maybe, since these are T3 and T4, instead of doing this, you could say total affix here doesn't really matter as long as all the individual acts affixes are more or equal to three. Oop. Three also happens to be my button for that. So three. So now let's change this to be offhand 
what does it say? Any catalyst for now? Did I add in res? I did. Yeah. Okay. So this item should show up. Oh, I know why it didn't show up. It didn't show up because this void res isn't tier three, right? So in this case, it really is searching for that. But if I did do more than or equal to eight, and I dropped it, why aren't you showing up now? Do I have cold res selected? Maybe it's a bad example. All those things are there. Oh, um, that's fine. It wasn't selecting any catalyst. There we go. So, now it shows up with the sum of eight. But if I do more or equal to three, why are you showing up? The complications of loop filters, everybody. You shouldn't be showing up because your void res isn't T3. Oh, never mind. I'm telling it that only two of them need to be up to tier three. If I told him three needs to be up to tier three, it's not showing up anymore. I get it now. I've not played around with this much. Um, da, da, da. In that case, I need to change some of my stuff. So earlier I showed in my Sentinel, because this is what I need to change. Um, this guy here, right? This is saying that affixes need to total more than or equal to 19, but they have to be less than five, which means they can't be exalted. And I was mistakenly just leaving this alone because I thought that you could, but now I realize that this impacts this. So, good to know. <laughs> Oops, uh, but yeah. Things you learn. You learn something new every day. So, that is like the rough breakdown of things. Now you can get very specific, right? Let's say that I want to hide certain affixes. Hide all items that show these affixes. Maybe I really don't want block to roll. I don't want any potion rolls on my belts. I don't want any ward stuff because it's just a chance to gain ward on kill. I don't care about stun. I don't care about uh, these two leeches, right? Maybe I don't care about these two mana rolls. I don't care about anything minion related. I want them to hide all of these things, right? Any of those affixes get hit. Usually you put it right here. Also, let's make it more like a filter and do item rarity, exalted unique set. I think it's fine to have them all like this uh, because you get a different colored beam for like right this is a unique beam you can tell whereas this here is a set beam versus the unique beam versus an exalted item right they're all colored the same but it's easy to tell them apart right set unique exalted so, in that case, whatever. That's how I choose the filter. So, you'd put it right here, this hide certain affixes. The reason being, if you put it here, now it's going to hide even exalted items with these affixes. Maybe that's what you want, right? Maybe you want that. In that case, put it here, sure. Uh, I like to put it here just to show all exalted items, just to see what I get. So now, if I take this more strict version and I drop this same, uh, the same catalyst that I've been wearing, it has minion health, which notice all minion affixes were hidden, right? Including minion health, which means even though I recolored it down here, it's hidden. It's not gonna show up. And if I allow it to, 
right? It's not showing up. But I want this item. Well, you're saying that you don't here, right? Updates happen when you close the filter screen. Right, so you want to be very careful with things like this. This is something that you implement very late game. When you and when it's hard to start filtering things by just doing this, right? When this becomes difficult to do because you're putting it at like 13, 14, that's when instead of putting this at 13 and 14, you just want to leave this at like 10 and start hiding things with affixes you don't want, right? That's from my experience. Now, there are other ways to make filters. Don't get me wrong. In the past, I built filters like this, where I just hide all items, hide normal items, right? Because I'm not recoloring items along with affixes. I'm just recoloring bases I don't want. Or I'm just hiding bases I don't want, right? So in this case, I'm hiding a bunch of weapon types not hiding any armor, not hiding any accessories. I'm hiding, should be like this, ornate and adorned idols, right? Any affix or any of items with these affixes, which are all the affixes that I would use for this build, whatever this was supposed to be, are gonna re be recolored pink, which I would actually want to be this now, um, but they have to total tier nine. Now this is very general. Right? This is a very general thing, and it's hiding all of the subtypes that I don't want to see, right? So in this build, I would only want to see this warding tome. Of all the uh, potential relics, I only want to see the one thing. So I hide everything else. Same thing with belts, right? I only want to see this noble stash. Looks like it's a mana stacker. It's probably my focus bomber. I only want to see the prophecy wand, right? Like I only want to see these very high end bases, right? So I'm hiding everything first, then I'm hiding normal items, recoloring things with these affixes, which are all the affixes that I would use for the build. And most importantly for this one would be the mana part. Uh, and then I'm hiding any sort of base that I do not want, right? Now, I'm also hiding items with affixes that I don't want. And I think in this case, it's just a mirror opposite. Okay, it's not a mirror opposite, but it, it could have been a mirror opposite of the things that I want. Now, if you do this, if this and this, if these two things are mirror opposite of the affixes, right? Let's say, you know, if in this guy you've checked bleed on hit, or you haven't checked bleed on hit here for the recolor, but in hiding you have checked bleed on hit, then it's absolutely opposite. And in that case, you're only showing items that have only these affixes which is very specific and very end game, something that you would want to do. Uh, early game, I would not recommend doing that. You're not going to see any items and it's going to be hard to progress via your items. In this case, notice I also have, in this case, uh, just gilded crowns because I was looking for gilded crowns so I could fracture them into uh, the fractured crown. Recoloring uniques exalt set. You'll see that in basically every single one of my filters. And then this these red items, or these red things here, just showing, this is probably the smite stuff, right? Yeah, mana gain on smite use, right? So these are build enabling items. And I could have put this in here, but I got lazy. Right, and it's still only 19 out of 75 rules. Some of these people on the forums have claimed that you need more rules, you don't need more rules. You need to know how to use the filter a little bit better. Which, don't get me wrong, it can be difficult, right? 
it can be very difficult to figure this all out. Um, I looked at Boardman's guide. I looked at, or Boardman's guide is the one that kind of taught me to do this, uh, which is good. Like, don't get me wrong, this is okay. This is a fine filter, right? It'll work for me until end game. I'm probably not gonna change it. Uh, but this that I have for the Sentinel is a lot more specific and it's a lot more adaptable. Let's say that, you know, I want it, I have seen so many swords drop, in this case, yeah, I've seen so many swords or staffs or scepters drop, and I just, they're just not quite good enough for me to start crafting on yet. Okay, easy. Then I just bump this number up. Or maybe I haven't seen a sword in forever. Okay, turn this down. Done, right? So this is a lot more customizable, whereas this filter here, if I have to sort by these affixes, then that's applying to all of the gear that I drop. So I would prefer, even though it takes longer to do, don't get me wrong, it takes a while to do this. Because I mean, 41 affixes, 37 affixes, 41, 37, 38, 37, 41, 41, right? Like, that's a lot of affixes to click on, and it's a lot to look at and go through and be like, okay, I want this, I want this, and then you had to make sure you didn't miss anything that you actually did want. So it takes a while. But overall, this is more adaptable. You'll see that some of these say sum eight, some of these say sum nine, one of these say, or a couple of these say sum five, this one doesn't have any sum. It's just showing all the things, right? So this one gets a lot more specific to what gear you're looking for, right? So this is why I like this style better. Uh, Boardman style, which is this one, isn't bad. Boardman style is not bad. He also doesn't do recolor for this. He also doesn't do recolor for this. I would recommend recoloring things. Because you can see if something's rare or not, right? Like, you don't have to see that the thing is yellow to see that it's rare, right? If I go back to this one, you can see that this is a rare item because it has one, two, one, two. It's easy. Some people. Uh, I think lizard. This is an option that you should play around with. Um, play around with, see what you like. It's the length of item names. I think lizard has short. So he just sees the base and he sees dot 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 dot. He sees the base, he sees it showing up on his filter, and he sees that it's a rare. So he's like, okay, I'll look at it. Some people like the long names. So you'll see Ursion Manifused, which tells you minion health, mana, of Frost and Hope, which tells you, uh, I think, Cold Res? Yeah, Cold Res and Void Res. So whichever way you want to do it, this is a lot of reading. This is a lot of hovering over things. I just like the normal stuff. I might eventually change it to short. We'll see. But I like, sh I like normal. Because if I see a blue item that drops, right? If I see a magic item drop, like this guy, leather gloves with the turtle, that's armor. I can just tell you that's armor. Mana fuse, Elder Raven of the Frost. Well, there's only one affix that I don't know now, because I know it's mana, I know it's cold res. What's the one I don't know? Fizz res. Cool. So it would have been uh, deflective or something like that. Toxic, Blood Rust Aegis, Static, right? That's going to be poison damage and lightning res. Or shock. Okay, cool. Whatever. I was wrong. So, play with around with that setting as well. That'll help you look at items faster as you're playing around with it. right? Or maybe not as you're playing around with it, but after you find the setting that you like, you'll be able to look at items faster and determine if you need them or not. And if you don't need them and you're seeing a lot of them, tighten every filter. Um, I think I rambled for a little bit there.
but there's a lot of stuff that you can do in this filter. There's only one thing that we can't do currently that I wish that we could do, and that is in these rules, you now Catalyst can drop with a wide variety of roles, right? You have an intelligence role that is very flexible. Let's say that I want a blood rust ages, right? There's an intelligence role that goes from six, or is that seven? Okay, man. Yeah, it's seven different roles that you can get on just intelligence. Order per second is 20. There are 20 different roles, which means to get a good one, you know, getting a good blood rest ages just by the implicit is sort of rare. Getting a perfect one is something you're probably never going to see, right? It's incredibly rare, and you'll probably see it. But let's buy back. Get these. Oop. Okay. So of these blood rest aegises, right? This guy has a really low intelligence roll and a low ward per second roll. But I can't filter that out just by the implicit. There's nowhere to do that, right? There's no... Bye. Look at this condition. There's no implicit requirement. So that'd be the one thing that I would like to add is an implicit requirement so that I could see this guy and be like, oh, no, that's terrible. Just by looking at the 9 and 26 there. It's so bad. Like a well-rolled base of a lower tier, like my Brass Aegis, has not quite the same ward per second, but it has more intelligence. So, if this doesn't have stats that I like that are much better than my current, right? I'm not going to put this on because I'm actually getting less ward overall because the intelligence roll is just that bad. It's making my ward retention that low. This one, same intelligence, not that much more ward per second, right? So, it's a middle roll intelligence but it's such a low roll in ward per second that I don't care. I don't want to see it. This one also really bad. <laughs> this one really bad. Notice four blood rest agences that I could filter out just like, these are two items that I would never want to see. Please EHG. I don't want to see these things because their implicit is terrible. Please let me filter by implicit. I really want to. But, um, yeah. In response to these forum posts, and the fact that I looked up filter guides online, and I couldn't... I found a couple, and they weren't great. Um, you know, these... I had to do something, so... Here's the video. Bye.